What's up guys, Sean here. Just wanted to do a quick video comparing the difference on how these two cut. Right here, I have a Benchmade 940, the Blade HQ exclusive in M4 blade steel with a factory edge. Then I have a Jacob Creates Chickadee right here in M4 blade steel also with my signature edge. So, you can see right there, clearly not a factory edge. And this has also been used since I've sharpened it. Um, I've been working on uh, testing this and gathering my opinions on it and stuff to review it. So, I've been putting it through its paces and yeah you can see this knife has been well used this one brand new you can also see we have a much thicker blade on the chickadee this 940 is going to naturally be a much better cutter much better slicer because of the thinner geometry and you also have a longer handle, so you have more leverage. The Chickadee has about two-thirds the amount of cutting edge, but only half the handle length, if that. Maybe even less than half of the handle length. So, um, based off of the blade geometries, uh, all things considered, the 940 should blow this out of the water when it comes to cutting performance, but I'm going to display to you that that isn't always the case and uh, also demonstrate the, um, you know, the benefits of a proper well done edge. So, um, you know, if you buy a knife brand new and you don't think it cuts the best and all, I just want you to know that factory edges are nowhere near a knife's full potential. And unless you, um, you know, you've been sharpening for a long time and you have lots of experience and you can put a really good edge on your own knife or uh, unless you have it professionally sharpened, which, um, for those of you who don't know, I do off offer a sharpening service. But if you have not experienced a proper edge on that knife, then there, there's no way for you to really have any idea what its cutting potential is, um, just judging it off of a factory edge. I mean, there, there's no comparison so i'm going to show that to you guys right now and speaking of doll factory edges that guy does it the best um and i, I did best test this this came in at 181 grams on the best tester so that's you know right in the middle of the uh right in the middle of where a factory edge is suspected to be on high end cutlery. And uh, so, you know, I, I wouldn't call it um, abnormally dull and I would not consider this abnormally sharp. You know, this is, uh, you know, about average. So when, when I say dull, I mean, 181 grams to me is dull, but to the rest of the world and you know people that aren't knife nerds, that's uh, a pretty damn sharp knife. So here we go. Make sure you guys can see. All right, you see, I kind of had to uh, work at it to get the bite in 
once I got that cut started, it wasn't very difficult to continue to push through. But you see where it's binding up and bending the cardboard? That is a sign that you do not have very good aggression, very good bite, blah, very good aggression, also known as bite. And, you know, obviously it also doesn't have a super fine apex or it would be, um, it, it would be going into the material with much less resistance. So we're going to go ahead over to the chickadee. Guys, now watch when I go to initiate the cut, no binding um, before it starts to cut into the material. Okay. Now, I don't have the same grip and leverage as I do with the 940, obviously, but. This thing is gliding through a lot easier than the 940. See those where it's ripping? Just tore it instead of cutting it. So I know this isn't the, you know, best demonstration and all, but I think that was um, pretty adequate for conveying the difference between a properly done edge versus a factory edge, or should I say a, a precision edge. So now sharpened by hand compared to sharpened by belt, big difference.